Hey guys, I am Roshan, pathology resident from India. Uh, many people have been asking me how to edit out gross pictures in Photoshop. I am not really an expert or anything, but um, I do some work on Photoshop uh, as far as gross pictures are concerned, and I thought I'll share how I do it. This is my method of doing, and uh, those who want can uh, try try it out. Uh, this is a f seventh version of uh, Adobe Photoshop. And I'm not going to completely show the full editing of this picture. I'll just show the basic things and then uh, I'll show a final picture of one uh, gross picture that I have edited out fully since it'll take a lot of time. This is the magic wand to, uh, tool. And uh, the first thing is the image that uh, uh, the primary image has to be good. The background has to be uniform. And uh, in my opinion, preferentially, it should be white so it can be easy to select out the area so it, since there is um, the shadows are there only those uniform areas are selected by this tool this shadow area did not get selected anyway that is how you use the magic wand and then you can use the brush option and I always use the black uh, black color for the background and this uh, here we can increase the hardness of the brush this is the hardest and uh, you can increase the size of the uh, the diameter of the brush and with that you can completely paint it black so that is how then i'll just show how it is done here see this is so this clean border will be uh, what we get and uh, that's how you get the uh, black borders means the sharp borders and uh, that is how you do grossly in the beginning in order to make the finer details you'll have to magnify it you can see here the magnification here the 66.67 percentage now we can make it about 250 or something like that uh, any 200 or whatever and here you can see the more details and you'll know the differences more clearly once you magnify and once you magnify you can use the paint option and select or whatever and you can uh, uh, you can paint it out using the paint uh, brush option brush tool or that is how you do the finer details I uh, means after the gross uh, macroscopic ones are done you can the borders you can uh, clear using the after magnifying the image so that is one thing and um, again we'll just go back to 60 or 70 percent so that is how you make the background black then the scale i don't like to keep the scale in my pictures but rather i will keep a one centimeter uh, rectangle this is a rectangle option and i'll select about one centimeter from anywhere and once i select that i just paint that area white since i keep the whole uh, the rest of the area black i just paint it white and then using the text option here I write one centimeter there so that is how I put the scale and then I scrape off the scale completely uh, I'll just again select the black color and then I'll just scrape off the scale completely then the other thing is you can select uh, in uh, suppose this uh, area I want to edit out you can select that this is the lasso tool you can select individual areas in the specimen and that area selected now you can uh, do increase the brightness or contrast or whatever you want and I'm just showing how to do it or uh, you can also do uh, the colors the color balance can be changed like for example the this looks a little dark or uh, suppose you want to make it more yellowish you can move it to the more yellow area right so you can uh, increase the you can uh, move it to whichever color gradient that you prefer Okay, so that is how you do that. Then, um, then another thing that can be done is the rotation. Suppose the specimen is not oriented properly, or rotate the rotation is not proper in the initial picture. You can use the rotate option here. This rotate canvas, and you can either rotate it total 180 degrees, or uh, you can rotate it 90 degrees, or you can do it arbitrarily, like uh, you want 15 degrees. Suppose you can change it to 50 degrees etc so that is how that is the basic things that I do and also another thing that uh, is a very uh, very useful
useful another thing is like uh, the clone stamp I'll just uh, show how it is done this is the see in many of our gross specimen you'll know that there will be cuts or there will be areas where the bits are taken and it will be a little, little dirty so you can use the clone stamp option and you can press alt and click the button and select an area by clicking alt and the left left click of the mouse you can select an area and you can paint that area here so uh, i'll just show how it is done see so you can make that area like there was no cut at all so that is how you do it and i think I'll, that is the basic things that i do and i'll just show you one picture that i have edited completely and uh, Here you go. This is one picture I have edited, and this is another, and this is another. So this is quite easy, guys, and it is uh, I think very uh, useful for all of you. Thank you.